Hey, Shalom, Mahakimo, praises Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Rakaku, Dash, Tabu, Anna, City of Apostles, and Elders, Great Millstones, and two sincere brothers out there of the whole full elect. So, like, brothers, let me just put my garment on real quick. Right? I got a video I want to show y'all, brothers, man. Israel going off, man. The wickedness of these women. Okay? This is, this is why our people are all messed up. This is the reason why women are supposed to be with one man. Okay? Uh, you know, this. This kid that I work with, man, he sent me this uh, via text uh, on Instagram. So just check this out, man. You see how messed up our people are, right? Check this out real quick. Try to get the camera, get the camera to play it. Right. Oh, tap it. Hey guys, this is kind of hard for me to say, but you know, I've been dating him since 2015 i met him when he was 21 and we had our first kid like a year after 2016 and um we had another kid in 2017 wait for it and i just recently found out that this was my son that i gave up for adoption I just recently found out that this was my son that I gave up for adoption. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just grab my stuff off the bus. Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, there you have it, man. No. Our people are all messed up. They're all jacked up, man. Right? So what you had there in the video, you had a, um, a woman sitting there talking about uh, a young man she was dealing with, all right? And uh, who come to find out that young man that she was, that she was dealing with, all right, happens to be her son that she gave up a long time ago for adoption. Okay, so it's the reason why our people are all jacked up, man, and marriages are all messed up, right? You know, the women are totally out of order. Uh, the, all of this, this, that's what women's liberation gets you, okay? That's that's what happens when you have women, women's lib, when a woman is not under the rule of a man, okay? And she has the freedom and the liberty to go out there and screw whoever she wants to, man, Okay? Oh, uh, you know, shit happens, unfortunately, man. You know, that's that's incest and that's a, a definite sin. According to the Holy Bible, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. And then this woman is so she's, she's so bugged out and so vain. He's like these women are just vain. OK, she's on goddamn Instagram putting a whole business out there, man. Now, if this was ancient Israel, when our people were in, in rulership and in power, she would get put to death, man. All right, she would be straight up admitting her guilt in all in vanity, and guess what? That would be a goddamn death sentence for her, man. Okay, that's why the scriptures say what it says, man. Leviticus nineteen verse twenty nine. It says, "Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore," and that's what happens, man. You, a lot of these guys out there and these mothers, these fathers and these mothers, you know, that abandon their children, man. You know, there's, especially when you're raising a daughter, all right? And um, and you're not instilling the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to her at home, which is, which is pretty much hard to do in this society. That's why the Lord said this is a, a wicked and adulterous generation. But this is the reason why the Lord gave us law, statutes, and commandments to abide by, so we can instill them, inst inst instill them to the next generation, all right? So that they can grow up to be righteous, man. And, with, and found without guilt in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and live in longevity. Okay? But when you were, your children are abandoned, right? Fathers and mothers abandoned it, their sons and their daughters. You see the case what happened with her. She gave her son up for adoption. All right? She gave her son up for adoption. And then she wanted up some years down the line, uh, finding, getting, getting with a young man. You young brothers out there getting with these cougars, right? 
got to watch yourselves, man. You know, you got to watch these, these old promiscuous broads, man. Okay? But, um, yeah, that's what happens, man. You know, you give your children up for adoption and you don't, don't raise them. They wind up becoming whores and whoremongers. Okay? And, you know, just wind up becoming a disgrace to Israel, man. And a degenerate. In the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the Son of the Most High, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Our people claim to be, well, our, our people, um, they have a a, a, a a natural fear or reverence of God, you know, but they don't have any understanding. That's why the scriptures say that, uh, that they have the zeal of the Most High, but not according to understanding. All right? <clears throat> <clears throat> so I'm going to read that again, Leviticus 19 and 29. It says, do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. All right? Yeah, and that's what happens, man. A lot of these young women out here, they grow up without parents in their lives, you know, without their fathers in their lives, okay, and without their mothers in their lives. When you got your mother sitting there playing the role of your BFF, your best friend, okay, and not re really being a mother to you and trying to guide you in the right direction, all right, showing you how to raising you up to keep, to keep a household and to be polite and respectful and honorable to your man and to deal with one man, okay? Then you're prostituting her off to become a whore. You know, you see these young mothers today on social media teaching their daughters how to twerk. All right, teaching their daughters how to twerk and and you know just you know doing all kind of vain, horrid shit with their children, man. Speaking in, in in the most obscene, absurd language, and that's not because that's not woman like, man. You know, for a woman to be running her mouth, cussing like a goddamn sailor, man. All right, that's not that's not that's not feminine at all. Okay, you know, a woman is supposed to be shamefaced, quiet. You know, that's really what pleases a man, not all of the bickering back and forth and the nagging. Okay, and all of that BS. And uh, and when you don't teach these young these young girls uh, how to behave like a woman, they wind up becoming whores, man. All right. Next thing you know, the TV, social media, school, for that matter, has more of an influence over your daughter or your child in general, even even your son, than you could possibly have at home. Especially if you're not instilling the right things to her, man. Okay. It says, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. And that's what happens, man. You know, that, that lady that who's you know now a cougar, right? I'm pretty sure she she probably was raised, uh, she wasn't brought up correctly or appropriately, you know? I, I, get, I could bank on it. I can guarantee it because the way to be brought up uh, correctly is to be raised up under the laws of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, all right? And the scriptures tell you that our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Okay? So her, so for her being raised up, uh, uh, like, basically like a whore through black, I mean, feminist, through the feminist movement, right? Fem you know, women's libs and all of that kind of shit. The land is full, fell to whoredom. And you have a clear example of that, man. It says... Lest the land fall to the whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. And that's what happens, man. Incest is wicked. Incest is a wicked act. All right? Even though she was ignorant to who she was screwing, that's the, that's the reason why the scriptures say what it says, man. Lest the land fall to whoredom. A woman is supposed to be with one man in her life. Unless that man dies and she becomes a widow, then she can take... She can uh she can remarry. And really that depends on her age. Okay? That really depends on her age, man. You know? But you got these cougars out there, these 40, 50 year old women, all right, running around screwing these young bucks out here, man. And look at this dumb whore, man. She done happened to, to screw her son, and then on top of that, uh have a baby by her son, man. Right, she done messed around and have had a baby by her son. So her son, so her new her son from her son is actually her grandson. 
Her son is her grandson. That's why it says, in the, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness, man. How fucking wicked is that, man? For your son to be your grandson. Okay? And that young man, his son, is actually his brother. They have the same mother. That's fucking twisted, man. It's twisted. All right? This is Leviticus chapter 18, verse 6. It says, None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother thou shalt not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shall thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness. All right? Yeah, so you're not supposed to be screwing your moms, man. Okay? You're not supposed to be screwing your moms as men, you know, or your father. He can have multiple wives. So you're not supposed to be dealing with any woman that your father deals with, man, or has dealt with, which would be like a, a stepmother to you. All right? You ain't supposed to be screwing your stepmother. You got that. That goes on in Israel, man, unfortunately. Okay? You got fathers and sons that go to, uh, to whorehouses and, and screw the same woman, man. Screw the same prostitute. All right? All of that is abominable in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? So the Lord ain't dealing with incest. All of that dealing with your closest of kin, the Lord ain't with that, man. You know, your, your mother, your auntie, uh, your sister. That's all fucking wickedness, man. Okay? Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 19. It says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. All right. And once again, going back to these women, man, you know, you know, I, I don't see how this woman could get with this young, this young man and not see a resemblance of herself in her, you know, or, 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 or or uh you know certain certain things in that young man that resembled her her baby father which 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 was the young man's father all right and don't even and don't question or question or think about it especially with the age difference man knowing that she gave uh her son up for adoption okay unless she didn't know who her baby father was you know, because that could be a factor as well. She might not, have, you know, she might have just been a, a, a whore doing a whole lot of one night stands back in her, uh, her younger age, man, and just got knocked up and don't know who the baby father is. We see cases like that on the, on, on the Maury show, right? With these hoes out here and screwed so many men, they don't know who the hell their baby daddy is, man. Okay? That's why it says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. And that's why that young man wound up getting with his goddamn mother and impregnating his mother. Straight up incest, man. Okay? Why? Because he's a wicked man. He's, he's obviously a sinner. Why would the Lord allow that? Okay? All right? Now, I wouldn't be sitting here with her while she's sitting here on fucking Instagram or whatever. Uh, spewing their whole business out there like that, man. The scriptures say, honor thy father and thy mother. All right? Okay? Her mother, his mother is so damn wicked and being vain, she's putting all their personal business or airing out all their dirty laundry on social media, man. This is why these women, these, these why these, the majority of these women ain't gonna fucking make it, man. Okay? It's disgusting as it is, man. Hey, I just wanted to share that video with y'all. I could rant on and on forever about this one, man. I'm already damn near 15 minutes into this video. All right? But I just wanted to share that with y'all. Right? Hopefully, you've been edified. I'm going to say Shalom. I'll be rocking to you, brothers. I'll be rocking to you in the next one. Shalom.